Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Planned Heat. Me and Nathan here today with a little bit of a challenge. We have the hockey one chip challenge. We also have a few other challenges that we have planned to do. I think in the last video we mentioned that we were trying to line up a few challenges for the next few videos that we might do. Um, one of them would be the Toe of Satan. Then another one would be Solar Flare. And then to wrap it all up, we have six hot balls. Um, we're not sure exactly which order we're going to do each challenge in, but I think we're planning on doing a challenge a month. You know, maybe throw a video or two in between just to kind of you know mix up the content just a little bit but give you guys something that you guys are always looking for which is a challenge so without further ado we can step right in and we can do the pocky one chip of course we're gonna keep this in frame as you can tell unaltered the safety is still on Staying in the camera view at all times. I've seen a bunch of different videos from this chip. They seem to be hotter than previous years. Not quite sure exactly what to expect from this, but... Well, I tell you what they expect. <laughs> <laughs> so it says what they expect is... Uh, so this was made with Carolina Reaper pepper and scorpion pepper. This straight up from hell chip was created for the sheer pleasure of intense heat and pain. Uh, round one is a spicy punch. And this is just one chip, right? Maybe in minutes or something. Yeah. Round two, scorpion sting. Round three, vision disruptor. Round four, gut slash. And then round five is uh, roasted. And then, of course, the insert destroy hockey one chip 2021 one chip challenge um if you last five minutes you're powerless if you last 10 minutes you're powerful if you last 30 minutes you're supercharged if you last an hour you're invincible i doubt we're gonna have the video roll for an hour but hey you never know this is anything like the dual chip i mean what was it maybe 10 15, 15 minutes. minutes max we were fine yeah i mean I say when the burn's over, we're invincible. I don't think I gotta sit here for an hour. No, we didn't even bring anything to drink with us. We are yeah. just uh, gonna go for it. Um, I've done one of these Pocky One Chip Challenges video before, and um, I was just fine with that chip. I mean, yes, it was hot, but um, it wasn't as hot as a lot of people were making it out to seem. This is my first Pocky chip. Uh, I think I might have tried their actual other chips. Yeah. Not the challenge chip, but... I've eaten the ghost haunted pepper. ghost pepper ones yeah. a couple of times. They're really good. They're spicy as heck. Um, definitely one of the spicier chips that you can get on the market as far as like over-the-counter type snacks. Not like special order from small businesses or anything like that. But they definitely do... Um, have some other flavors as well of the same chip. Um, I haven't really tried any of the other flavors. I've just gone with the Haunted Ghost Pepper. So, I and can't... All the other chip challenges we tried weren't too bad at all. So, no, we might expect the dual. Too much from we've this. done the Four Horsemen. We've done... What was that one that we got from Etsy? Or that you got from Etsy? I can't even remember the name of that one. But we got one from Etsy as well. So, this is like our third chip challenge i think on video and then i'll be pretty mild i think it's a good starting place for our challenges yeah and then like i said we're not sure exactly with these other challenges that we have what order we're going to do them in so let's talk about this real quick this is not league of fire uh, credible right nope uh which one of our challenges are the only one that we have that's league of fire credible is the six hot balls and okay. that's one of the reasons why we're ending with that one um not sure how far deep in the League of Fire we will try to go, but there's plenty of challenges out there that are League of Fire credible, and it would be nice to be 
Yeah, and ranked not in only some that, sort. but it's hard to get a hold of a lot of the stuff that is. Uh, people just keep ordering them. You know, they're hard to get a hold of. Um, I was happy I got a hold of those solar flare challenges, yeah. but uh, I'm not sure. I don't think the solar flare challenge is on the League of Fire. Um, it is comparable to the Death Nuts. I don't know if it's Death Nut 3.0 or 2.0, which it's comparable to, but it is definitely comparable to the Death Nuts. Okay, there's plasma snowflakes in here, so I'm assuming that's going to be capsaicin crystals of some sort. Yeah. A serving blend of Caroline Reaper, Moringa Scorpion, and Seven Pot Dugla with a blend of savory spices. I don't know. That kind of sounds. I'll have to look, but it kind of sounds like uh, the first Death Nut, maybe. Yeah. Because the second one had the nine. The Borg nine. and Oh, well, the nine million Scoville crystals. Yeah. crystals. Well, that might be what that is. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But we'll okay. find out before we do it. We have these here. Yeah. Uh, any last words? It says here. Uh, rules for the challenge. Eat the entire chip. Wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. Uh, like we said, we'll probably just wait until the burn is over. Or, and then we'll stop Post it. Post reaction on social media with hashtag... Uh, one chip challenge and mention at Pocky Chips. So that should be all linked in the the video. So let's. I remember the last couple chip challenges. They're broken. Yeah, at least one of them was. But mine, mine looks like it's fully intact. This looks to be Mine's like a broken in half, just like the last chip challenge. So what I'm gonna do? That smells evil, though. Okay, I'm just gonna pour it in my hand, and I'll show you what's there. And it does smell pretty evil. It looks like a blue uh, corn chip, heavily dusted with left in there. Some chili powders. I got three pieces, y'all. So that's what I'm dealing with there. Right there. So let's uh, go for it. Oh, yeah, I bring that in. Definitely tastes like creeper. A little stale. Um, if you ever do this, don't breathe in while you're eating it. That just went straight to my lungs. Uh, I got it all over my lips. I can't put the whole chip in my mouth. So my lips are on fire right now. Definitely spicier than I was expecting. Yeah. Good job, Pocky. Oh. Well, now it's time to just sit here and uh, die. Enjoy the flavor. Um, There's Jacobs. Haven't really eaten anything spicy in a while, so this is definitely um, feeling it. Um, like I said, I had the chip rub against the lips. So a lot of the powder got on my lips, so now my lips are on fire, which is never good. Um, getting a little sweaty. Not bad, but I can feel a little clamminess. I got hiccups. Dang. I mean, it's not terrible. It was uh, definitely hotter than I was expecting, though. Yeah. Straight definitely fire. blew the last one that I did, the Pocky, the first one, Pocky one chip. Definitely way hotter than that one. But, I mean... I can handle it. It's hotter than the dual chip, that's for sure. Yes, I would have to agree. Um, definitely get the pins and needles in my mouth. Definitely on my lips as well from the powder. Um, yeah. Starting to hit the back of my throat now. That's where mine's been. Back of my throat. And, uh... I don't know. Uh, definitely all gone. Chip was a little stale. It was. 
uh, I don't know. There's no born on date on here, so it's hard to tell. Two, eight of 22. So, I guess there is a born on date. That's fire, guys. Pretty damn hot. So I'm not sure. I think we're about two minutes into this. And uh, I mean, I don't think it's, I think I hit my peak. Not on a downward slide yeah. yet. Uh, I don't feel it building anymore. Mine feels like it's exiting my mouth. And now the fight's down here. Hopefully my stomach can handle it. That's what I'm always worried about. Not here, here for me. So, yeah. Um, I had lunch a little while ago, so I'm not doing it on a completely empty stomach, but <sighs> definitely hoping it doesn't bother my stomach as well. That's fire, though. That's for sure. Yeah, still. All in my mouth, back of my throat. I think my lips are feeling it the worst just because the powder was on my lips. It's like every time I swallow it, finds some powder that didn't get. It comes back in. Guys, that's fire though. That is uh, the hottest chip challenge I've done yet. Yeah. Does that kind of remind me of the death nut, dude? A little bit. Yeah. Freaking hot. Good job, Pocky. I really was not expecting this to be hot at all. <sighs> Big thumbs up on that one. Definitely going to have to prepare for these next couple of challenges. Uh, the Toe of Satan, most of you guys know. Five minutes in your mouth, nine million Scoville unit uh, chili extract inside. <clears throat> we briefly touched on the solar flare. Um, it's, you know, like I said, loosely based off of, uh, the death nut. It's just sunflower seeds. But just sunflower seeds. And then the six hot balls. I'm worried about that one. And Johnny Scoville definitely knows how to make a challenge with the tuba terrors and what have you. Yeah. So, hoping for, hoping for... You know, some good, clean fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, that's a good one, man. I really was not even sweating it all day. I'm like, oh, we're going to start with the one chip challenge. The other one's going bad. Okay. This one's pretty spicy. Uh, I have to say the heat in my mouth yeah. is starting to ramp down. Yeah, same here. It's just my lips right now, pretty much. Mine's right in the back of the throat, where my tongue meets my throat. But, um, definitely doable. I don't think I'm going to have to drink anything from this. Getting a little bit of a runny nose. I wouldn't say runny nose, but sinus clearer, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely bad idea rubbing that chip on my lips. Because that's where a majority of... The heat is focused. Yeah, mine, since it was broken up in like three pieces, I stacked it and I just kind of set it in my mouth. So that's where all the heat's at for me is where I set it in the back of my throat. It didn't really touch my lips. I was worried about going down, feeling in my stomach. Usually I would have a pretty quick reaction. Um, so I think I'm okay. It doesn't feel too bad here. And yeah, it's starting to go away in my mouth. Um, but yeah, that is a hot chip, bro. Pretty hot. I would have to admit, it's surprised. I thought the duel was going to be. Yeah, well, because it's got the pepper X, you know, which is supposedly supposed to be the hottest pepper in the world. Uh, yep. Un, un, uh, un, official. Unofficial, yeah. Well, plus it had Carolina Reaper on it, and uh, I was kind of uh, let down with that one. Yeah, I mean, the the Pocky One Chip Challenge definitely 
put a curveball into the yeah the mix. I didn't I didn't expect for it to be that hot. I was like, hey, let's do the one chip challenge. You know, I didn't even prepare for it or anything like that. I was just I kind of knew when I smelt it. Yeah, it, it did smell hot. hot as I hell. was like, okay, crap. Yeah, but yeah, I think we got through it. Uh, still burning, but it's going down quickly. I'm starting to get the uh, you know the high. The endorphin rush, the yeah. Endorphin rush, um, so it's not hurting as much anymore. But I can definitely recommend this to people. They like spicy things. I'm sure there's gonna be somebody out there that says they could eat these, like uh, salsa chips or something, you know. But uh, it's hot to me. Definitely uh, pretty warm. Just make sure you don't rub your face or your eyes, and when you're done, make sure you wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Very good, like three times in a row. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally touch some sensitive areas. Eyes, nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll feel that one for sure. Yeah, the burn on my lips is starting to go away. I mean, it's still there, but definitely starting to ramp down. Yeah, it, it ramps down pretty quick. I'm, I'm, It's almost done for me. Um, see, so we're, I mean, what, we're about... What, five, ten minutes in? Not even ten minutes in? Not ten minutes, no. Maybe five. And, uh, I mean, no milk required. Didn't think about drinking milk. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of felt like something to drink when I first ate it, but that's the challenge. Yeah, got it. Got to roll with the punches. And, uh, like I said, we have, oops punches so yeah look forward for the look look uh look for these coming soon like i was mentioning before i think we're going to do a challenge a month and just throw in some extra hot sauce reviews or hot sauce reviews or between. just something reviews yeah um just trying to build up the content now you know, stuff we think you guys would like to see. Everybody loves a good hot but If challenge. you guys have any suggestions, what you might want to see, yeah, or anything sure. like recommendations, that. Recommendations. Recommendations of hot something. sauce. You know, yeah. leave a comment. Like he said, drop a link. Uh, we're down for any suggestions. Anything. We're a relatively teeny tiny cha uh, channel right now. We're hoping to flourish into something a little bit bigger. Nowhere near Johnny Scoville. I don't think we're gonna get that big, but but just heads up, we're just not doing this to become a huge channel. I really love hot stuff. I love hot stuff. Uh, even though it might not agree with my stomach sometimes with these challenges, uh, hot things. I've always loved hot things. Yeah, and I've we always. We do it for the community. Know, we love the hot stuff. We thought we'd join in. It looks like everybody else is having fun doing this stuff. Yeah, Why like Johnny us? says, let's get on the bus. Let's take a ride. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Um. We enjoy, you know, abusing ourselves. We enjoy the um, the heat, the flavor, you know. Yeah, for sure. It's not just it's something we're trying to do to, you know, get YouTube famous. We're doing it because we actually enjoy this kind of stuff, you know. It's, yeah. We, I mean, we, okay, so besides the videos we watch, you know, that I would call that the, the community for yeah, the stuff. Yeah, the chili, chili head community. Uh, but... We went to the Hot Sauce Expo, the LA Hot Sauce Expo. Do you remember what year that was? Oh, well, it was for your birthday, like two years ago. A couple years ago. So we went to the LA Hot, so Hot Sauce Expo. There were so many cool people there, man. Uh, all like, shapes, sizes, you know, walks of life. And there, man. Farms was there. There was Ed Curry was there with Pucker Butt. Um, Bravado Foods was there, you know, and it was just like the SoCal Guac Sauce. Yeah. The they had a wrestling ring that they in had. Uh, the, the, oh, they had a, what was it, the dog show? Yeah. The, the beauty pageant with the dogs, and then they had uh, the, the reaper eating contest. The reaper eating contest, and they had the jar of chili eating contest. That was yes. kind of cool. Yeah. Um, you know, if you guys are interested in us going to hot sauce expos, I mean, I don't see any coming anytime soon to California. But, yeah. I'm you know, not a flyer. I mean, I'll fly, but, you know, it's... Uh, you know, stuff I like that. I work a lot, so that's not We're really We're definitely something. interested in, like, you know, not just doing challenges or hot sauce reviews on our channel, channel, but we are definitely 
Um, looking for suggestions on what you guys would like to see, would like us to try. We're not going to go all Steve-O and dump some stuff in our eyes. No. Unless, of course, that's what you want, and then I can pour it in Nathan's eye. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'd let you do that. It all depends on the circumstances. But, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty much done. Yeah, um, my nose is done. Like, maybe I'll blow it when we're done, but uh, the, everything's The heat level on. in my mouth is pretty much, you know, yeah. done. Um, I wouldn't... Like I said, I don't think we're going to let this run for the entire hour. But I'm not eating or drinking anything to try to soothe the pain or try to stop the heat from, you know, increasing. Right? I'm on the downward slope already. Yeah, I peaked for sure a while ago. It's almost uh, non-existent now. I mean, minus, much. minus my nose that I need to blow. Um, yeah, it's pretty much gone. But it, it, that was a damn good challenge. Uh, I can I'm see how people who are not um, used to spicy foods, how they would have a challenge with this, dealing with this, or have a hard time dealing with this. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm not saying that it was totally non-felt. It was definitely a hot chip, but it came on quick. Um, well, we're just basing that off of, like like I said, we like hot, like pretty hot stuff, hot sauces. We're just basing that off of, like, normal people that we know that we've had try the stuff that we like and it burns their head off those kind of people that normally eat spicy things this is probably gonna be pretty dang tough for you man but um not that it wasn't tough for us is um we just yeah. have a bit of a tolerance to stuff of this nature and that's why we started this channel is because not a lot of people that we know do or eat the things that we do or we we eat because we were doing this kind of stuff when we were younger i mean i remember when i was like in uh junior high i believe me and one of my buddies sat down with a jar of pickled jalapenos and i think i eat 12 of them in a row just to outdo them <laughs> you know just yeah. little things like that it was like it wasn't something that i was doing because i wanted to get famous it was something i was doing just to for the fun of it, you know, just to outdo my friends or what have you, you know? Yeah, I remember back when I was like 10, I would throw uh, jalapenos and cayenne peppers out here. My dad took me up to this place uh, that they used to have uh, where I'm next to called, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called. It was a hot sauce shop though. And at that time, there wasn't super hot peppers. Yeah. Habanero was like it. Habanero was like... The hottest. Yeah. And then, the, you know, Davis and Stanley started coming out with concentrated stuff, but I remember... Uh, Satan's Revenge, and uh, um, Endorphin Rush. Those two hot sauces were like the hottest thing you can get. And I was eating those back when I was younger. I was always like hot stuff, man. And, you know, it's fun that people have figured out how to make a hobby out of it. So, and we're just trying to join in. Yeah. I mean, we. everybody wants something fun to do in their spare time. Blow off some steam or... In our case, blow off our tops. <laughs> yeah, these things will make you forget about what's going on. <laughs> the problems you have in life. These will make you forget you about that. You definitely forget about it for 20, 30 minutes at yeah. a time. You know, some people drink, some people, you know, smoke pot, whatever. We eat hot stuff. Yeah. So. And that's, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment something that you would like us to see, do, try, whatever. We're always open for suggestions, so till next, next time. Thank you very much.